Hello, it's Lou Collins and today I've got another card template for you, downloaded from Craft World, so you can go ahead and download this yourself at home, print it off onto A4 copy paper and we're going to create an arrow fold card. Now this is a really pretty and can be very elegant looking card but it's also great because you've got the arrow fold at the front that can actually look a little bit art deco, it can look quite um, sort of geometric so really quite masculine if you want it to, so this card can really work in lots of different ways. So I've cut out my template and there is an additional video for you to show you how to cut out your template, how to place it onto a piece of cardstock ready for scoring. And so you'll find that on Craft World as well. But I've cut this out and stuck it on, but I haven't yet done my score lines. And the reason being because I wanted to show you how I do score lines when they're not right angles to the card. So this one through the center is a right angle, so that's nice and easy. I'm just going to score across that middle one there. And then these ones are all funny angles, so of course they're not going to work whichever way I pop the cardstock into my, um, my scoring tool. But my scoreboard here is a small one. Um, that's fine, small ones still work. Um, so what we're going to do is use this very end line here. And we're going to line up the top of the line with the point in the middle. There we go, and because you're using the very last line, it's much, much easier to see where you're scoring. And then I'm going to twist it, leaving the base here still on that last line and go up. And I'm going to repeat this for the opposite side as well. So that is the easiest way to create score lines when they're not at right angles. Use that very last line. It's really easy for you to see where you're scoring them. Because if you were trying to use a line that's further in on the board, of course, there's a lot of lines here and they all look the same, so you'd really struggle to work out which which one you're trying to line up with and you may be jumping across a couple of different lines. And one more, like so. There we go. Okay, so now we have our score lines. We can remove our template. I'm just popping my scoreboard to the side but keeping my tool because I want to use this to really strengthen the folds and the creases. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold in that longest line. So at the moment, the triangle is going to point down towards you. This will be the front of the card. So we're going to fold that triangle underneath and just flatten that with your scoring tool. The next one we're going to fold outwards. So a concertina folding and the last one in. And then all of these are going to tuck in inside themselves so you can see here we've got that lovely really pretty fold and i'm going to do the same on the other side so flatten this out if you need to whilst you work on the other side so we're going if you hold it towards you it's a mountain then it's going to be a valley and then a mountain again and flatten those so they are really pretty. Now this is the inside and you can have this on the inside or the outside. So let's just take our fold in the middle. You can have your card. So that this is the outside, which is really pretty. You've got lots of elements there that you can be decorating with different pattern papers. Or you can do as I'm going to and keep these on the inside. So we've just got that point there and that's nice and strong to hold up with. And I love that we have, it's a bit like a folded napkin, we have these extra pieces on the outside there, just peeking out, which is just really pretty. So now for decoration. Now I'm going to bring in some blues. So you may notice my card base is ever so slightly blue. So I'm going to bring in Simply Made Crafts. Now this is Pretty Blues paper pack and it came with uh, Helen's afternoon tea collection when she launched that. So I'm going to choose some papers from here that will work with everything and I'm going to start cutting out so that they fit. So we'll fast forward to where I've cut all my panels. So um, I've got two panels here. One is going to go inside of the card, just like so. Now I've inked around the edges there with chipped mm -hmm. sapphire. It's a lovely deep blue from the Distress range and it just works really well with all the blues in these this paper pad that we're using. So I've gone with a paper that's actually very similar in background colour to the cardstock I chose, so a nice light blue. Inked around with the dark blue, and then on the front I'm going to have that pop 
of dark blue there as well so just going to ink oh I have already inked around the edge but I'm just going to glue the back of this triangle here and a triangle is a shape that I wouldn't often use on a card but I really like that it draws your eye in and down to the center of the card the center point there it's really very different and like I say really unique you could easily make this art deco couldn't you okay so now I'm going to bring in a couple of other items uh, I've got some a Sizzix a lovely think happy thoughts sentiment there that I'm going to use and I've got some dies and I really like this circle die here so I'm going to be using that as well so I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto white cardstock and then I'm going to cut out from blue um, a nice blue swirl to go around the outside I think it will be blue I may change my mind as I have a play with it but the first thing to do for me is to cut out a piece of white from the very center of this circle and then stamp into the middle of it or vice versa so you can stamp first and die cut afterwards so let's get that done So there I've got my gold rings cut out, I've got my sentiment. So my sentiment can go into the centre of my card here and just glue that down nice and flat because this fits right inside of that circle, that ring, those rings here. Um, I can't have this raised up because this doesn't have anything then to sit on. So just positioning this back in place like so i'm going to put the rings around the outside in that gold so this is like a matte gold it's not a really high shine gold mirror card just adding glue as much as i can some areas will be overlapping and just place this round the edge should fit absolutely perfectly around the white cardstock there should just nestle around the edge there like so and i don't think i need to do any more to that i think sometimes less is more and this is a really simple card that stands up by itself but it looks elegant it would be amazing for a gentleman or a teenager as well um so yeah go and download your template from craft world and I'd love to see what designs you make with this particular card shape.